Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to take an example of constrained minimization and we are going to use Lagrangian multiplier method. For that, we have this function here, function f of two variables x and y, which is equal to x square plus y square. We are going to call this our objective function. This is what we want to minimize. And the other function that we see, x plus y is equal to 10, is our constraint function. When using the Lagrangian multiplier method, we have to set the constraint function equal to 0. So we are going to have to write this function in this form. When we have done that, we are going to formulate a next function known as the Lagrangian function. Let's call it capital F and it's going to be a function of three variables now. X, Y and a third variable lambda which is also the Lagrangian multiplier. So in the Lagrangian function we are going to combine the objective and the constraint functions. Let us do that. Objective function x square plus y square and we are going to add on the constraint function to it by using the Lagrangian multiplier. This is how we do it. We write a plus sign, introduce the new variable lambda which is the Lagrangian multiplier and inside the bracket we write the constraint function which we have set equal to 0. Once we have done that, we are going to take the partial derivatives of this function first with respect to x then with respect to y and then with respect to lambda and set each of the partial derivatives equal to 0. This is going to give us a system of equations which we can solve for x, y and lambda. Let us do that. First of all we are taking the partial derivative of function f with respect to x. So from this term we get a 2x, from this term we get nothing and from this whole term we get a lambda and we are going to, going to, we, we are going to set this equal to 0. Next we are going to take the partial derivative of our function f with respect to y. From this term, we don't get anything. From the second term, we are going to get 2y plus. From the third term, we are going to get a lambda again. And we are setting it equal to 0. Let us do it one more time. Partial derivative of f with respect to lambda this time. With respect to lambda, the constraint function is going to be returned to us. So we are going to write it here x plus y minus 10 is equal to 0. So we have this system of equations now which we can solve for x, y and lambda. This is a simple enough minimization problem. So we can do it without even using the matrix algebra. Let us do it here first and then I will show you how to set it up uh, for matrix algebra and we can do that in Excel in another video. Let us write down these equations. 2x plus lambda is equal to 0. 2y plus lambda is equal to 0. And x plus y minus 10 is equal to 0. So this is our equation 1, this is our equation 2 and this is equation 3. From the first equation, this one here, we can see that 2x is going to be equal to minus lambda which means that x is going to be equal to minus lambda over 2. 
We can do the same thing for equation 2. 2y is equal to minus lambda, which means that y is also going to be equal to minus lambda over 2. We can substitute these values of x and y in equation 3. Let us do that. For x, we write minus lambda over 2. For y, we again write a minus lambda over 2. And we can take this 10 over to the other side. So it's going to become plus 10. This means that lambda is going to be equal to minus 10. Once we know the value of lambda, we can find out the value of x and y by substituting the lambda in equations 1 and 2 respectively. So from equation 1, we have 2x minus the value of lambda 10 is equal to 0, which means that x is going to be equal to 5. Similarly, from the second equation, 2y minus the value of lambda equal to 0. This is going to give us y equal to 5. So there we have it. We have minimized the objective function with respect uh, subject to the constraint function and we have found out the values of x, y and lambda. We could have done the same thing using matrices. Once we have this system of equations here, we can set it up in matrix format. First, we can write the coefficient matrix. This is going to be equal to, from the first equation, we know we have three variables. But in the first equation, the second variable, that is the y variable, is missing. But we are going to make a provision for that. In any case, the coefficient for x is 2. There is no y in this equation, so we write a 0. There is a lambda, the coefficient is 1, we write that. From the second equation, there is no x, so the coefficient is 0. There is a y and the coefficient is 2. There is a lambda and the coefficient is 1. From the third equation, the coefficient of x is 1. The coefficient of y is 1. And the coefficient of lambda is 0 because there is no lambda there. So this becomes our coefficient matrix. We can also write the variables vector x, y and lambda. This should be equal to the right hand side 2 times x plus 1 times lambda should be equal to 0. So we write a 0. Similarly 2y plus lambda is equal to 0 and 1 times x plus 1 times y should be equal to 10. That is what we write here. We can now solve this system of matrices like this. If we want the values of the variable vector we have seen in a previous video we can simply do this C inverse times this vector 0 0 and 10 Let us give this vector a name. Let's call it the k vector. 
so that we can write it easily c inverse times k once we do that we are going to find that x is going to be equal to 5 y will be 5 as well and lambda will be equal to minus 10 we will do that in excel in the next video see you next time